What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at the GRS TOS switchable 4 to 8 way restrictor being installed on the RK1 Up Counter K. Now, this thing is tight. Just to put in all the things you needed to mod this thing, does it have enough room to add the switchable 4 to 8 way? Restrictor gate? Let's find out. Let's get it started. So this is a gate and every San Juan compatible joystick will have one of these and it can be mounted inside uh, your cabinet at the base of your joystick. If it's in one position, it allows the joystick to float around in there and go all way eight ways. If you turn it another way, then it hits up against those sides and, and, and it's restricted to four-way and so this GRS product simply just rotates that automatically for you and and okay. and why is that restrictor gates rotation important it is important for certain games to be able to play the way they're intended to play when you have a all games in one multi K inevitably you have games that are sacrificing their playability in order for you to have them all on the cabinet. And so you really have to make a commitment or make a decision without a product like this to, to really want to play the games one way or the other. Uh, you're not going to unscrew the cabinet and switch out the controls all the time. It's just not going to happen. So you're going to be forced and stuck playing one way or the other. Now this kit is called a all-in-one kit. It comes with five pieces, but we don't need all five pieces. We only need three pieces. We need this servo-driven restrictor here. We're going to need the restrictor controller board. And we're going to need the USB cable that's going to give this board power. So those are only three things that we need. Uh, the servo driven restrictor is going to plug into one of these four ports on the, on the edges here. And the USB is going to plug into your Raspberry Pi for power. So you see that connects there and then the USB connects to the Raspberry Pi. That's all we're going to need for this kit. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is remove the standard restrictor. Okay, so this is the one that came with the joystick. Again, this is not the RK1 Up stock. This is a um, Sanwa generic joystick that I added to this mod. Again, this is a Raspberry Pi modded RK1 Up countercade. And so there's just four pins on there and you have to squeeze the black pin inward and uh, then pull this out. So this, the built-in one is easier to take out. Make sure you get this one in the right way because this one takes a little more effort to get on and a whole lot more effort to take off. Because this cabinet is built with a slant on the front, you want this restrictor to be in the back as much as possible. So I actually inserted this on the wrong way, and uh, it was a, a real pain about to take off. So uh, I will take a picture and include the way mine looks 
uh, when it's actually installed. This is the direction that you want this device to be sitting in when you screw it down. Even in this position, it's going to be a little gap at the top, but when you screw the screws down, it's going to compress and it's going to be fine. But the, when you see this in the video in any other position, it's touching that front plate, which is slanted, and it's going to cause a problem in closing the cabinet. So you want it to be in this position away from that front panel. So once you have the control panel screwed back down, uh, you need to go into the back of the cabinet. Now, mine's battery operated, so I just simply need to relocate my battery for uh, this uh, build. And uh, I'm just going to put it up on the side of the cabinet inside. But the next step is just to get your controller car installed. So it's three, it's three wires. The, the manual tells you the colors of each wire. And on this controller car, it shows you which uh, identifies the ports. The server, the power, and the ground. And so you just make sure you plug it in the right way. It doesn't matter which of these four that you plug it into. The software is going to identify uh, which one you're using uh, when you do the software portion. So the, the wire is already on the little box there on the base of the joystick now. And so you can mount this anywhere that's going to be out of the way. The kit comes with... Um, little mounts that have adhesive backs, um, but I already have a double back uh, Velcro uh, strip that I use, but you see here, so you just plug it in. Again, it can be in any of the four slots are there, and then you need the power. So the power cord goes uh, from the controller car to your Raspberry Pi, uh, and this is a pretty long, cable but i just stuffed it up in the top this product allows you to not have to worry about that literally you don't have to worry about it uh with a raspberry pi mod it will automatically just do it there's a software jet installed this link in the description to when i did it on my uh, big one and on this one i put the actual button which i didn't need to do but i just did it to show people um that it, it would change the light for you um even if you didn't manually change or uh, press that button um but oh, fantastic tool galaga okay so you heard it it switched to the four-way so automatically it switched to the four-way galaga is really a two-way but it will use a four-way. So you heard the switch, there's no button, even though this kit comes with a button, so you can manually switch it. Because I'm using Raspberry Pi, I have no need for that button. So we'll exit this game and let's go. So that was two ways. So if we went to, uh, let's say Gunsmoke now. So you heard that, so it switched to the eight way automatically. If we go out of here and pick another four way game, say like a Pac-Man. We'll say Mrs. Pac-Man, okay? So we launch that. Automatically switches back to four way. So this is something you don't see from the outside that just works this magic automatically without you even having to think about it. Now it knows which games are which. So now if we went to say Merc, Merc's eight-way game, automatically switch to the eight. And that's just how simple this product works. Very simple install. 
Now, in this situation, the it is a tight fit, and initially my control panel was raised a little bit, but I just screwed the screws down. It pushed it down where it needed to be, and it doesn't hurt the mechanics of the of the joystick. And so if we do a demonstration here, we're not gonna try and play with one handed, but we will see that this thing moves, see there? It moves diagonally. It uses, it uses all eight way. Trying to play this without the eight way would be very frustrating because you could only go up, down, left, and right, okay? So we'll take a look at a game I showcased earlier where without this product, it was moving in four directions, up, down, left, and right, which makes this very, very difficult game much harder to play when you cannot move diagonally to get out of the way of some of these bullets. I mean, there's bullets flying everywhere, and you need to be able to move freely in the directions uh, to dodge not only these fast-moving people, but all of these bullets that rain down on you. And so you can see here, I'm, I'm clearly able to move diagonally, where without this product, I was only able to move up, down, left, and right. So there you have it, a very easy to install product with a Raspberry Pi, no need for the button that's included. Uh, you just do the programming, use the link in the description, look at my other video and see how that works. Uh, and so you're able to play all of your games. You don't have to think about which games are eight way, which games are four way. It'll just automatically do its business. Uh, so I appreciate you taking time to watch. Uh, this video comes to you, but most people, they're not subscribed. So please hit the subscribe. I'm almost near the 5,000 subscriber mark. So it'd be awesome if you can help me get there. Uh, like the video and share the video. If you can share it on your Facebook groups and things like that, it's always better when you share versus when I share. Uh, so I appreciate you doing that. What do you think about this? Do you have a uh, arcade that you think this is a benefit from? Until next time, I'll see you on the web.